Hello everybody, this is Pure Liberal Fire for November 11th, 2010. I'd like to discuss President Barack Obama's speech yesterday at the University of Indonesia in Jakarta. I think the most important line he said was, quote, I made clear that America is not and never will be at war with Islam, unquote. But I really have to ask the question, is America at war with fascism and communism? Is America at war with genocide and tyranny? Is America at war with any evil, evil ideology or activity, activity no matter how false or omnidestructive? When Obama says that America is not and never will be at war with Islam, I think you have to point out that Islam certainly is at war with America. And Islam has, a bit, has been at war with the West for maybe 1,400 years now. It's known as a philosophy of the sword or else a religion of the sword. And I think it's worth noting that the jihadi state of Barbary, which is located in northern Africa, they, these guys were actually at war with America more than 200 years ago. And Thomas Jefferson had to send uh, some ships to try and stop them from attacking Americans. I think that ultimately um, Islam really is at war with America, with American freedom, and with Western civilization. And it's pretty much at war with all manifestations of rationality and liberalism. I think if you want to understand this in simple terms, you can bear in mind that Islam divides the world up into two pieces, what they refer to as the Dar al-Islam and the Dar al-Harb. And Dar al-Islam is Arabic for realm of Islam. And what that means is all the, all the parts of the world which are ruled by Muslims. And the Dar al-Harb, that's Arabic for realm of war. And that refers to all the areas where Islam has not conquered yet, but it has a moral and religious duty to conquer. So Muslims tend to regard all people that aren't Muslims as being what they call inf infidels, and they consider themselves to have the right and the duty to conquer all these people. So Islam absolutely is at war with the West. I think the fact of the matter is that privately, most Muslims really do like Osama bin Laden and 9-11. They might not admit it in publicly, publicly but uh, among themselves they do. They support all the jihadi groups in the world. That's why you never hear of such a thing as Muslims against Jihad or Muslims against Sharia. The vast majority of Muslims in the world really are at war with the West to the extent that they support Al-Qaeda, they support the Taliban, they support Hezbollah, Hamas, Fatah, Al-Aqsa Martyrs Brigade, the Muslim Brotherhood. And not only do they support all these jihadi groups, sometimes openly, sometimes privately, but they really do overall still seek to sneak some kind of nuclear bomb into New York in Washington, D.C., and detonate them simultaneously. Now, maybe, maybe they also want to detonate, detonate a, a bomb in Chicago, in Los Angeles, and London, and Paris. But the point is, they really want to create some sort of horrific slaughter fest in the West. What they're looking for is to massacre millions of people. They want nothing less than an absolute bloodbath. So in that sense, Islam really is at war with the West, and the West and, and America, and America should be at war with them. I think that ultimately America believes in Western liberalism, it believes in a philosophy of reason and rationality, an ethics of individualism and self-interest, a politics of liberty and individual rights. And Islam pretty much rejects all of that. It, pretty, it almost embraces something which is the exact opposite of it. So I, think that, so I think that the ultimate reality is that intellectually and culturally and politically and even psychologically. America is now and always will be at war with Islam, and Islam is now and always will be at war with America. The fact of the matter is, when it comes to this evil philosophy, we really do need to destroy it. It's just like Nazism and Bolshevism. And just like these irrational, Ill illiberal ideologies of fascism and communism, we, we really do need to terminate it everywhere in the world. We need to make war, successful war, against Islam.